can you talk more about the W.B. Du Bois? Yeah, W.E.B. Du Bois, uh, in 1951, uh, he uh, was charged with the very same thing, uh, indicted for the very same thing, and actually went to trial. And uh, he was acquitted on the trial. He traveled all over, you know, speaking out, uh, similar, to me, uh, similar to what I'm doing now, just in terms of speaking out about what's going on. So he, he was able to be acquitted, but uh, they, they ruined him in terms of... Uh, economics. They had taken his passport. They gave it back to him after he was acquitted and he traveled to Ghana. But when he got to Ghana, they took his passport again. So he couldn't back, come back uh, to the country. Uh, and Du Bois was, you know, uh, whatever else he might be characterized, but, you know, we consider Du Bois liberal. And uh, a so, little right wing for us. Yeah, 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 he was a liberal of sorts, you know, and uh, uh, he played a really important uh, role uh, in the FBI attack on Marcus Garvey that had happened, uh, you know, earlier uh, uh, in the century. And he played that really important role uh, for that. And, and of course, the FBI, uh, under the color of law, Garvey had done this incredible thing, built, you know, an organization from six to 11 million African people around the world, had created economic uh, entities similar to what we are uh, emulating right now, had actually purchased steamship lines so that Africans could trade with each other globally, had, had uh, uh, created ambassadors traveling around the world, had intervened at the uh, uh, League of Nations uh, conference in 1919 when they were discussing uh, what was going to be done with parts of Africa, making the declaration that Africa for Africans at home and abroad. So they attacked Garvey, FBI, uh, said that he defrauded, used the mail to defraud the people uh, uh, with selling stock for the for the steamship line that he had, so you know this is like been a sort of a history that that yeah. we've seen. And then Du Bois, uh, they took uh, Paul Robeson, as you know. Uh, it's really interesting about Robeson because he went uh, to the United Nations with a petition uh, 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 to charge the United States with genocide uh, against African people here. So uh, they attacked him, they brought him before the House of Un-American Activities, and, what? And uh, you know, are you now, have you ever been, you know, like a member of the Communist Party of USA? They, they did a, a real serious uh, attack on him. And that's just the history of it. I mean, you know, I'm mentioning these relatively well-known people, but the FBI, uh, as you know, uh, with this counterintelligence program that uh, targeted what they call Black nationalist hate groups, the hounding of Martin Luther King that they did, that they tried to get King to commit suicide, uh, what they did to uh, Malcolm X and, and uh, you know, and they declared in 1969 that, that the Black Panther Party was the greatest threat to the internal security of the United States. So this is the history of that relationship. 